Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create custom WooCommerce checkout pages with the Aero Checkout plugin. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so you can get the plugin from here. This is the official website. Uh, you have the link in the description box down below. And if you'd like to get it from the official website, it will cost you full price, which is, I think, around $149 and right now, it's, and it's on sale, so it will cost you probably more when you're watching the video. However, if you'll get it from us, the exact same plugin, the official plugin, for only $4.99. The only difference is that when you download it from us, it won't come with a pre-made template. However, all the other functions of the plugin will work normal, which means you can create the desired template by yourself if you know how to use your page builder. And I will show you later what I mean. But for now, just download it either from us or from the official website. Go to plugins, add new, upload plugin and choose the plugin you downloaded and click on add new. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, you can get it for free by the way by clicking here on this button. You will be able to uh, install it straight from there by looking for Aero Checkout and you can see it over here. If you have the unlimited uh, plan, just click on install and you can install it and then click on activate. And once you activated it, just refresh the page and you will see that it was added to the sidebar on the left and here it is. Let's click on it and see uh, what the next step is. So let's go to WooFunnels and then Checkouts. And before we start, let's just clean the screen a bit by closing these two windows over here. All right, so in this screen, you can see all the checkout pages you created. Right now it's empty because we didn't create anything yet. Uh, but after we'll create one, we'll see it over here. So let's click on add new. And here we'll give it a name. I will call it new checkout page. And we'll click on the add button. Just like so. Now, based on your page builder that you are using, you can see different examples of the checkout pages. So right now we are using Elementor. However, if you are using a different page builder, you can change it from Elementor to Divi, Gutenberg, etc. I'm using Elementor, so I will keep it as is. And here I have examples of pre-made templates that they created for us. I remind you, we can't use them. However, we can mimic them and use them as reference or inspiration to create our own. So you, we can definitely create something that is very similar or even identical to the one that we like from them. When you're ready to start designing your page, just exit the screen and over here click on start from scratch and then click on edit. I will open it in a new window. It's over here and we can see that we start from scratch from a canvas template. All right, so let's click on the plus icon and add two columns section. I will make the left column larger, just like so, and make a bigger uh, gap between the two columns. All right, now because we activated the WooFunnels plugin, we have two new Elementor widgets over here. To the left column, I will drag this checkout form, and to the right column, I will drag the mini cart, just like so. Obviously, this is just the first step. Of course, you can click on any of these widgets and you'll have many options. It appears here on the left and on the sidebar. You can enable the heading. You can disable it, change the text, change the field options, change the colors, size, etc. You can do many, many things with it. You can pretty much do anything and a lot with it. Uh, same for the cart widget. You can click on it and you have many options over here to customize and design it exactly as you want. So definitely go to the different settings, the different setups, uh, you'll find that it's uh, amazing and you have many options to do many things. The purpose of this tutorial specifically is just to get your feet wet and to show you some of the options. We don't want to dive too deep into it because it will take some time. Again, this plugin is very powerful. So take your time with it and build the perfect checkout page to fit your website. All right, so let's just keep going with the design. I will differentiate between these two columns by giving the right column a different background color, like a light gray, just like so. And just like the pre-made templates, I can also add a review or a testimonial 
to the right sidebar just below the cart just add the right widgets I don't want to spend too much of your time you probably already know how to do it because Elementor it's very easy to use so I'm just going to speed up this process And once you done designing it, just click on update. Let's visit our checkout page uh, right now. We'll see that this is the basic unattractive checkout page. And in order to activate the new checkout page, we'll go to WooFunnels settings and here into the checkouts tab. And here we'll change the default WooCommerce checkout page to the new one that we created. And we'll click on save changes and we'll refresh our checkout page and we can see the new checkout page over here looking very nice, very sharp, beautiful and this is just after a few minutes of working with it of course you can come up with way better results than this one if you will take your time and uh, style it exactly as you want I just want to show you that this is just the tip of the iceberg and you can create many beautiful checkout pages with it Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. You also have all the links of this tutorial in the description box down below. Please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way.